First of all, traders should pay attention to the fact that since the beginning of the week, the US dollar considerably depreciated. That's why rebound was quite predictable. The greenback was under significant pressure from the uncertainty caused by the US midterm elections. When it became clear that the Democratic Party will gain control over the Senate and the US dollar started gaining in value. Notably, vote counting is still in progress and at the same voting stations, less than half of the votes were counted. Nevertheless, the picture is the same. The Democrats are likely to win a majority in the Senate whereas the Republicans will get the most seats in the House of Representatives. The key reason for the greenback's depreciation was an assumption that the Republican Party will win control over both the chambers. Today, the US dollar is likely to show a considerable increase amid the US inflation figures, although the pace of a consumer price growth may slacken to 8% from 8.2%. The Federal Reserve will continue to raise the key interest rate. The fact is that inflation is still at a very high level. What's more, on a monthly basis, consumer prices are expected to climb by 0.5% compared to a smaller rise of 0.4% in the previous months. In other words, consumer prices go on growing and may even accelerate the pace. It means that the US regulator will remain stuck to the aggressive monetary policy tightening. In the Eurozone, the situation is almost the same. Last week, Christine Lagarde said that the ECB would raise the key interest rate despite the mounting risk of the recession in the Eurozone. The recent report unveiled that the Eurozone inflation accelerated to a new record high of 10.7% in October, and this level significantly exceeds the target of 2%. At the same time, the region's GDP slackened to 2.2% um, during the period from July to September. Thus, the indicator displayed their worst performance in the last six quarters. On the chart, we see that investors still prefer the US dollar to other currencies. The euro dollar pair accurately bounced off the area of the local high recorded in October. As a result, the pair started moving towards the parity level. Under the current conditions, the parity level is acting as support, thus, the number of long positions may increase in a case of a reverse. If the price consolidates above the local high of 1.0930 recorded in October, at least on the chart, it may show a rapid rise. The downward scenario will become possible if the price settles below 0.9950, and in this case the volume of short positions may surge. We can already see this on the chart. As for the British pound yesterday, it showed high activity. As a result, the pair lost about 200 pips, sliding below 1.1400 and encouraging bears. However, soon after that, we saw a technical signal of oversold conditions in the short-term periods. In this light, the pair rebounded during the Pacific and Asian session. Now, a lot depends on the speculators' behavior amid the news flow. From the technical point of view, the pound dollar pair will rise if it consolidates above 1.1450. The downward scenario will become possible if the price settles below 1.1300. And that's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the used trading session.